Hey guys, Carlos here from abrotherabroad.com. Today we're gonna make a pair of PVC parallettes. Uh, it's great because it's a cheap, easy way to make a tough pair of parallettes. And having these parallettes at home allows us to do a slew of really intense upper body exercises that eliminate our need for a gym. And there we go, about 25 minutes worth of time, $25 out of my pocket, and we have a tough, cheap, and easy pair of PVC parallettes. So to make this, it's gonna take four steps. Step one, gather all of your equipment and your tools. Step two, we're going to cut our PVC pipe. That way we have our sections ready. Step three, we're gonna take all of our pieces and assemble them just to test fit. And step four, we're gonna add a little bit of glue and stick them together permanently. Then leave it for 24 hours, and then you're ready to get your workout on. So for step one, we wanna gather all of our materials and all of our tools and put them in one spot. For your materials list, grab a pen and paper because here's what you're going to need when you go to the hardware store. First thing you'll need is one 10 foot length, at least, of Schedule 80 PVC pipe and one and a half inch width. Now some other directions will mention that the PVC pipe that you get, they'll normally get the white one which is uh, Schedule 40. We want to go with the gray one, that's Schedule 80 because it gives us about 300 pounds more tensile strength, makes it a little bit stiffer. That way, we're in our movements, we have no give whatsoever. Additionally, some of the other directions will list one inch or one and a quarter inch. I highly recommend going for inch and a half width. It fits perfectly in the hands and the extra stability you get in return makes these things feel a lot better if you're, if you're upside down in a handstand push-up or a 90 degree push-up. In addition to that 10 foot length of PVC pipe, we're also going to need four, four 90 degree elbows four T-fittings, and eight end caps. Now with all of these pieces, you still want to make sure that you're getting inch and a half with Schedule 80 pipe. In step two, we're going to prep our materials. The only thing that you really need to prep is the 10-foot length of PVC pipe. You're going to cut this into two 20-inch sections, four 8-inch sections, and eight 6-inch sections. Once you finish cutting your main pipe, we're going to take everything and put it together for a test fit just to make sure everything is good and balanced. So for our one parallel, we have one 20 inch piece of PVC pipe. All of these are still one and a half inch, schedule two to give us extra strength, two 90 degree elbow joints, two eight inch pieces of PVC pipe, four six inch pieces of PVC pipe, two T-joints, one and two, and our four end caps. Now that we have a test fit, and we know that all of the pieces fit together well, everything's balanced, everything's at the same level, we want to add glue to all of the ends and put the pieces together. Push them tight and let it sit. It'll probably be dry in about 30 minutes, but just to be on the safe side, wait 24 hours before you use your parallettes. And here we have our PVC pipe glue, and it's time to get down to business.
So now that you have your parallettes, what next? You can step up your workouts at home by looking into advanced calisthenics and gymnastics movements. Be sure to add the following exercise progressions to your list. The 90 degree push-up, along with the deficit handstand push-up, the L-sit, and variations including the I-sit. For more information on how you can use these parallettes for a great workout, check out my site, abrotherabroad.com. There we go, about 25 minutes worth of time, $25 out of my pocket, and we have a pair of tough, cheap, and easy parallettes that you can make at home. Thanks for watching.